The Make Solid tool is a quick way to make your mesh mixer projects 3D printable. You can use the Make Solid tool to fix common mesh issues your object may have, such as self intersections, overlaps, non manifold geometry, and minimum thickness requirements for a particular 3D printer. You can also combine a bunch of separate objects into one 3D printable object with the Make Solid tool. I found both of these models in the 123D gallery at 123dapp.com. The first thing to do is to make the winged shark. I can do this by importing both my shark and wing models and positioning them appropriately. I can delete these pectoral fins since I'll replace them with the wings. I can hide the wings using the object browser. Now select the shark and enter selection mode to select the pectoral fin. When that is selected I can choose edit, erase and fill, and accept. Then I can repeat with the other pectoral fin. Next, I want to give my scene the proper scale that I want to print it out at. I can do this in the analysis bucket using the units dimensions tool. All I have to do here is tell Mesh Mixer how long I want to print this winged shark. I'll enter 150 millimeters or 15 centimeters. Press enter and my scene is scaled appropriately. The wings and shark model are still separate objects here. So I'll use the Make Solid tool to make a 3D printable model from them. First, I multi-select the wings and shark using the Shift key. Next, click Combine to make these two objects into one object. You can see this in the Object Browser. Now I have one object. Now I'm ready to use Make Solid to make sure the wing shark is 3D printable in the multicolor sandstone material I want to print it out on using the Shapeways service. With the shark selected, click Make Solid from the Edit bucket. You see the shark is automatically made into a solid, watertight model with no self-intersections. This is basically what the 3D printer is like. I can adjust the settings for the Make Solid tool to get a denser, more accurate mesh, then click Update to see the result. Looking on the Shapeway site for the recommended minimum thickness to print in the full color sandstone material, I see they recommend the minimum unsupported wall thickness to be 3 millimeters. Since my wings are basically unsupported features, I'll make sure to enter 3 millimeters in the minimum thickness setting for the Make Solid operation and click Update. Note that you have to choose the accurate setting for minimum thickness to work in Make Solid. Now I know this model is ready to 3D print and meets the recommended minimum thickness setting for the full color sandstone material. Okay.